Good morning, beautiful souls. I hope you're doing well this morning. So this morning I was drawn to Luke 16. I came in here and I asked about unconditional love and caring for others. And I was brought to Luke 16, 13, and he's speaking to the Pharisees. So I'm going to skip, though. I'm not going to read the whole complete uh, chapter or book on that. I'm just going to read a couple of different uh points on there for you. So let's see what they have for you. I was actually pretty impressed with this. There's a little story that goes in here too. Um, so here we go. Uh, oh, hold on one sec. I hear a car coming down the hill. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So Luke 16, 13. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Right? Self, human. So we're going to skip down now to uh, Luke sixteen fifteen. It says, And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men. Many people do that. But God knows your hearts right? God knows whether you love other people or not, or whether you're self-servient and you're pretending. So I'm going to read that to you again. You of those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For what is higher esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God, meaning greediness, not helping others, whatever that means to you. That's my perception. Uh, and I'm going to skip down here, and we're going to talk a little bit about, or I'm going to read to you about the story of Lazarus. And this is Luke uh, 19, and I'm going to be reading 19 through 25. So here we go. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who had laid at his gates, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So this Lazarus uh, asked for food, right? He simply asked for food, and uh, the rich man refused. So he asked for help, and he was rejected right? It's not like he wasn't asking for help. So I'm going to continue on and it's uh, Luke 22, excuse me, 1622. It says, uh, so it was the beggar, so it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being tormented in Hades, he lifted his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried to him and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. So, obviously, we see here that the greedy person uh, was not welcomed warmly, right, uh, into the arms of Abraham. Lazarus what Lazarus was. Okay, so let me continue on and read the 1625. This is what Abraham said. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received good things, and likewise Lazarus received evil things, but now you he is comforted and you are tormented. So I think that that says a lot about unconditional love uh, because all he had to do was give the man some bread to be kind, to help another soul, and he chose not to. <laughs> and that shows you right there what Abraham's opinion of that is. So I'm going to let you take that for the day and see if you feel that you are really truly sending uh, unconditional love and help to those around you, or are you actually just wearing a mask uh, that men see and believe that you're one way, but God knows your true heart. So 
Again, that was uh, Luke 16, 19 through 25. And I'm sending you guys much love and light from Christy here at Abundant Healing Wellness at the Pinion Commune in Hell's Canyon, Oregon. As it is above, is below. As it is within, it's without. Namaste, guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.